Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev and the beta channel of Windows 11, which is the build 22593. This was released today by Microsoft. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also about some fixes that were applied in this build. Of course, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like these where we talk about new Windows 11 builds. And before talking about what is new in this build, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. With HitPaw Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video and audio formats, download media from 10,000 plus popular websites with a single click, and you even have the ability to apply simple edits to the files such as cut, merge, and more. To start the conversion process, simply select your video or audio file, and then select the format you want to convert to. After you select the output location, you can click on the convert button and the conversion process will be done in seconds. The video conversion speed is 90 times faster without any quality loss using the lossless acceleration feature. Download HitPaw Video Converter from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. First of all, Microsoft is making some clarifications regarding the Windows 11 watermark and they confirmed that this does not change the licensing of your device. So if you have a licensed Windows 11 copy and you want to join the dev or the better channels, even if you get these watermarks with the evaluation copy and also the builds and stuff like that, you don't lose the licensing on your Windows 11 device and that is really good. Microsoft is also reminding us that in the dev channel, users will be able to experience some new features that that in other channels you won't be able to. So for example, in this build, some insiders will be able to experience the new Windows search box with suggested results from the web, which is actually pretty interesting. And also another reminder is that you can still switch from the dev channel to the better channel as this build is also released to the better channel. So if you want to switch from the dev channel, you can still do it for at least a week. In this build, Microsoft updated the Windows plus X menu so that if Windows terminal is installed, the menu will will include an entry for the terminal, as you can see here. And in cases where Windows Terminal is uninstalled, it will display Windows PowerShell. In this build, the biggest change is regarding the File Explorer. The default home page of File Explorer is now called Home, as you can see here in the left side. The name Quick Access has been repurposed for the pinned slash frequent folders section, and pin files is now called Favorites to align with Office and OneDrive. And also recent and pinned files displayed in Home are now searchable using the search box in File Explorer even if they are not local files so you can find Office files recently shared with you. Regarding input, Microsoft Journal is now pinned by default on the pen menu. If you don't have the app installed, it will be installed from the Microsoft Store if chosen on the pen menu. For whatever reason, I cannot enable the pen menu on my machine. I have the pen menu turned on as you can see but I cannot find it in my system tray. I tried turning on and off. It doesn't seem to work. I think this is a temporary bug or something like that but it doesn't really matter right now. When using certain windows or the file explorer, if you press Windows plus Z to open snap layouts, all the layouts will now show associated numbers so that you can quickly use the number keys to select the desired layout. So for example, if I want to choose the second layout, I press the two key on my keyboard and then press enter and that will be easily applied to my window. Again, Windows plus Z too, and you can use the arrows to select where you want the window positioned on the screen press enter and it is very easy. Regarding focus, Microsoft added five minute increments for everything under a half hour to focus session length options, which is nice. Regarding Windows security, memory integrity is a feature in Windows 11 designed to prevent attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes. This feature can be found in Windows security and under device security and then core isolation. In the most recent insider preview builds, Microsoft will notify the user that this feature is currently turned off. So that action can be taken for the user to turn it back on so that their device is as secure as possible against malicious attacks. And as you can see, in order to turn it on, I'm going to have to restart my computer and then I'm going to be able to turn it on. And lastly, we have some updates to some keyboard layouts that you're going to find more info about in the article down below in the description. I don't find that really interesting. So I'm not going to go in depth with it. Now let's talk about some fixes regarding general fixes. Microsoft fixed a few more issues impacting Explorer.exe reliability in recent flights. They also improved the performance of rearranging taskbar icons, which is really good. And in the start menu, they updated the design of the folders in start so that they're a little bigger, making it easier to see the app icons highlighted within 
the folder without having to open it, of course. Regarding File Explorer, Microsoft improved the performance of loading home in File Explorer, which is good also. And of course, a whole bunch of fixes and improvements were applied to the settings app. If you want to see everything in depth, you can check out the article down below in the description. So basically, this is the latest build for the dev and the better channels of the Windows 11 Insider program. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.